I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Joining me today, I'm so excited to have this guy on. Obviously, uh, no stranger to the rock world, the music world, the JJO world, the one and only Sonny Sandoval of POD. <laughs> Sonny, hi, how are you, man? What's up, buddy? Thank you for the warm welcome. <laughs> hey, of course. Uh, great to have you on here, man. Uh, let's talk about the new album, Veritas. Uh, May 3rd, it dropped, which, real quick, that dropped shortly before your 50th birthday this year. Happy belated birthday. Also, uh, how's rock starting at 50, by the way? How's how's that going? I love it, man. I feel uh, 25. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that's, the, that's the secret. I love it. Uh, the secret is rock and roll. <laughs> the secret is rock and roll. Get it out there. Uh, 11 studio album from POD, the first in six years. Let's just dive into this. You've seen it all. You've recorded it yeah. all. You've played it all at this point. Where does Veritas sit in the evolutionary soundscape of POD? Where you guys are at now? Talk about where this sits. I mean, well, obviously we're not kids anymore. You know, we've we've been in this game for so long. We've learned so much. We've, we've, we've grown and experienced so much, but... I think this is just the bare root of what POD does. I mean, if you listen to this record, it, it has a lot of all of those elements. I like to call them the spices, right? The spices of, of what we do. Um, but it's not overdone. It's not over seasoned. You know, it's it's more of the meat and potatoes of what we do. You know, we we love heavy. You know, what I mean, we love being in your face. We love just just rocking. And so it just kind of stays very, very steady all yeah. the way through the record. Whereas before we've we purposely jumped around so much because, you know, we're, it's just like we do what we love, you know, and we love so many different types of music. But this is because of the way we recorded and it was like song by song. It was just kind of let's just put stuff down, you know, let's just move forward. And it wasn't until the end of the record that we realized kind of the shape that it took. Yeah. You know, I remember having friends saying, did you guys do a reggae song? Did you guys do a punk song? And I'm listening I'm like, you know what? We did it like we, we just we kept it rocking all the way through. But I couldn't be more proud of this record. You guys put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in, into mm. all the works, and, and we're so excited to have new stuff from POD after six years. Anything that stood out with this record compared to previous works that really were like, well, oh, that's different, or or I didn't expect that? We Like you said before, we've kind of seen it, done it all. I think, if anything, it's just the technology of, of how you do things now. We're so used to, you know, being in a studio and taking our time, and you know what I mean? We, we just I just talked about this, you know, but with technology now, you, you have a billion bands because they're they're recording in their bathroom. And that's, yeah. you know what I mean? They're, they, it's not about the music anymore, or it's not about even their talent or their skills. It's how well they can move around on the keyboard. You know, it's like you could be a gamer now. These gamers are becoming music en- engineers and you know, <laughs> mixers and masters and stuff. Yeah. And it's because because they're familiar with, with the, the console, you know what I mean? The computer console, you know, and it's almost like a, a video game. Yeah. You know, whereas now you can just, like I said, someone can talk on the mic and all of a sudden, by the time they run it through all their filters, you know, it sounds like um, Stevie Wonder or something, you know, yeah. Justin Bieber, <laughs> Michael Jackson, you know, it's just, it's amazing. And it's yeah. like, wow, this is crazy. So it's just, it's weird, but we, we got to go with the flow. You guys worked with, speaking of producing stuff and mixing stuff down, you worked with uh, Jordan Miller, Jason Bell, The mm. Heavy, a lot of them know it. Uh, not only for this album, but also 2018 Circles, uh, explain bringing them back in, partnering back up with these guys and and, and getting that sound you want in, in that partnership. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those guys are young. They've, they've done a lot of kind of like pop and uh, alternative music. And I think our last record, you know, once you compare Veritas and Circles, it's like, yeah, I think that was a little bit more alternative. You know, I mean, it had a lot more of the spices that I was talking about. Yeah. And But we brought them back this time just because they, they wanted a rocking record as well, like we did. You know what I mean? To, to put under their resume. And it was easy. We just go back and forth to L.A., you know, once once a week, once a month, we'd ever take a day trip and just start laying down ideas. And again, they're those guys that are familiar with this kind of technology where we're not in this, you know, complex studio. It really is just a computer. You know what I mean? A yeah. mic, you, you, you plug in and you start putting down your ideas and it's like, okay, let's, this is what we start with this is what we work with. And they put stuff together and it's, it's a whole different world these days. Yeah. Well, obviously uh, what you guys had with circles was awesome enough to bring them back mm. and we're excited to see what they've put together uh, for this whole album, which you get is out now. Veritas uh, dropped May 3rd. Is there a track on this record that really resonates with you, maybe uh, compared to the other ones, one that really speaks to Sonny? It's a personal connection with uh, the track Lay Me Down, because uh, as we were writing it, uh, even during COVID and sitting in my room and trying um, you know, to write lyrics, I had got a call that uh, one of our good friends, he's part of the POD family, 
uh, Rue, he had, he had died in his sleep. And uh, anybody who knows POD knows of Rue. He was, you know, he probably seen POD more than anybody else. You know, he went through a bunch of different, you know, heart transplants, you know, lung transplants. He just had a rough life, you know what I mean? And, but he loved our band. Our band was so special to him. And as I'm trying to write this song, I get the call, you know, and that's when it was just, uh, we were all heartbroken. And so the song is called Lay Me Down um, because I don't know if you remember that old, I remember this old Catholic prayer as I was growing up, you know, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. And he passed away in his sleep. And so it took me a while to kind of put my heart back together to, to write it. But then as soon as I, I could, I, we wrote, I wrote the lyrics to that song. And that song is dedicated to him. I love it. Uh, that gave me goosebumps, yeah. by the way. You talking yeah, about that. So, and, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to feel that, learning more about this and diving into the record. Sure. Again, sure. toss. Uh, P.O.D., it's out now. Go get it. Uh, you're in for a treat. It's never a bad day when P.O.D.'s got new music up. <laughs> Rock it at 50, man. Getting it done. That's it. Get it done. We're getting it done, brother. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Brock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 941 JJO. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Let's do rapid fire. Uh, now that we got the important stuff out of the way, no <laughs> answers. You just go with your gut, okay? okay. So here we go. Yes. Uh, let's start easy. Mashed potatoes or baked potato? Mashed potatoes. Uh, disco or techno? Oh, disco. Disco, I can see you as a disco guy. Yeah. Would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Oh, uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Have you ever felt like you've been close to a Bigfoot encounter? No. Oh, <laughs> California. I know there's a lot of sightings. That scores more north, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? One. The first one. The first, horse-sized duck. Big duck? There you duck, go. But I think you can do it. Like, yes. Like you, you feel like you're 25 now. You can handle it. You yeah, handle I could it. handle it. All right. Uh, last one. One punch from Mike Tyson or 100 punches from the old Where's the Beef lady. Do you remember her? Where's the Beef oh, lady? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll take it from Where's the Beef. <laughs> yeah, I think that's smart. I think that's smart. I, I wouldn't mess it. with Mike. <laughs> no, even now, even now. Uh, Sonny, thank you for humoring me. Yes, More sir. importantly, thank you for talking new music. Veritas from POD out now. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 941 JJO.